So for this video, I had wanted to show you how I made a complete day to night time lapse using my drone, plus all the retouching in Lightroom. But it didn't really work. Now you probably saw there that each of the videos didn't really line up so good and the quality of the low light footage just, just wasn't there. So I've gone for the upgrade. I've ordered the DJI Air 2S so we can look at this some other time. So instead in this video, we're going to take a dive into color lookup tables. We're going to look at making them, saving them, exporting them, making them completely editable, things to look out for the right way and the wrong way. We're talking next level LUTs. Okay, so here is a final retouch picture, but if I open up the other tab, you can see here the image as it's gone through the retouching process. If I turn every layer off apart from the very bottom one, you can see how as I've added individual layers, be they lookup tables, gradient maps, hue and saturation, whatever, those have all gone together to give the image its final look. Now you don't want to have to keep going through these same steps on every image to give them the final look. It'd be nice if you could just do one click to apply it to it. So we can do that. We're going to do that by saving out the lookup tables. But as I show you that now, let me just show you as well some of the problems you might experience. We're going to go to the file menu. We'll choose export and we'll choose color lookup tables. Now when I click on that, you'll notice that you get this warning dialog up here that says that you can't export the lookup table because the document has no background. And sure enough, when we go to the layer stack and look at the bottom, the original layer right at the bottom is just called layer zero. This needs to be a background layer. To change it to that, we just go to the layer menu at the top of the screen, choose new, and then background from layer. When we do that, you can see now that that layer has changed to say background with the padlock icon. So now then to save it out, we'll go to the file menu, choose export and come back to where it says color lookup tables. When we do that, we get this dialog box appears. Let's just drag that over from my other screen. Now the description, I just tend to leave that at the same name as what the file is. We've then got this quality section and we've got a few choices here, but I tend to find that 64 high is more than good enough for what I want to do. The important part is at the bottom here where it says formats. We've got four options. The one I use pretty much most of the time is cube. So that means now when I save out this lookup table, I can use the actual lookup table in Photoshop and in other editing software that I use like Premiere Pro. We'll then click OK. When we do that, it then asks us, where do you want to save this out? And I'm just going to put this on the desktop, but I'm actually going to call this one Harley and we'll call it uh, wrong because this is going to throw up an error. Let me just show you that now. We'll click on save. You'll notice that the screen flashes and does all kinds of stuff so telling us now that it's saved that lookup table. But what has it actually done? Let's turn off all of the layers. Let's just go back to the original layer at the bottom here and say that we now want to apply the color grade into this one. The way we would do that is we'd come to the top right hand corner of the screen to where our adjustment layers are and we're going to click on the lookup table adjustments. When we do that, we get the properties with the three menus. The first one at the top is the one we're going to use. If we click on it, we can see all the uh, preset ones already in Photoshop, but we're going to click where it says load 3D LUT. We click on that. It then brings up the browser or the finder on my computer so that I can navigate to where I saved out my original lookup table, the one called Harley Wrong. Click on that, then click open to apply it. And you'll notice that it actually doesn't look good. Something has gone terribly wrong. Now, that's the wrong way to do it. The reason that's gone wrong is because of what layers we had visible in the layer stack when we saved it. Let's just go back a step. So what we're going to do is this. Let's go back and turn all the layers back on in the layer stack like so. Now, when we want to save out a lookup table correctly, we need to make sure that the only layers visible in the layer stack are those which are giving the image the color grading. And that can be lookup tables, it could be hue and saturation, curves, whatever. Any layer that actually gives the image its color grading, we need to leave on. Any other layer, apart from the background layer, we turn off. So this group at the top here, we'll turn that off. 
Uh, we don't need the cleanup layer just there. And that's it. So we've got the only layers visible, hue and saturation, the color lookup table here, and all these other layers here that go to give the image the color grading. So now then, we'll go back to the file menu. We'll choose export color lookup tables. We get the properties come up here. So again, I'll leave the description as it is. Quality, 64 high, and the format as cube. We'll click OK. It'll ask us where we want to save it. This one again, we'll put onto the desktop but I will call this one Harley and we'll call this right. That's the right way to do it. Then we'll click save. The screen will flash about a little bit and it's done. So again, let's now turn off every layer apart from the original background layer with no color grading applied and let's give it the color grading. So we'll come to the top right hand corner. We'll click on the color lookup table adjustments. Go to the top menu where it says load 3D LUT. Click again where it says load 3D LUT to bring up the finder on my computer where I navigate to where I saved my lookup table. The one we will choose is where it says Harley Wright. Click on that and then click open and you'll notice it just goes bang, just applies it with no problems whatsoever. So that is the correct way to save out your lookup tables. But the problem with that is now is it's only made an individual file, one that we can't edit. How can we make it editable? Well, here's one solution if you're using the Creative Cloud. Let me just get rid of that one we've just applied and we'll turn on all the layers now that actually make up this image like so. Now we've got all the color grading layers in the layer stack and all I'm going to do is put all of these actually into a group. So we'll click on one of them, click on the very bottom and we'll just go to new group from layers and we'll call this uh, Harley. And I might actually just drag these other ones in as well. There's a couple more there, which we can just click and drag and drop into that group. So all the, all the layers in this retouch that gave the image its final coloring are within this group here. And you can see that just there. Now, what we could do to make this editable is open up our Creative Cloud library. I've got one here called Color. And I could literally just, let's have a bring that down so we can see them here, literally drag this group over into my Creative Cloud library. You can see it's got a plus symbol and then let go. That'll then put that into the actual library. You can see here it says uh, Harley. So now then, how would we use it? Let's just get rid of it completely. This image has got no color grading on. We now want to apply the color grading. So I'll open up my libraries. I'll navigate to where I saved it out. I'll click and drag and drop it on top of my picture. Let's reposition it and press enter return. But you'll notice that actually nothing happens. There's no color grading been applied. If we look in the layer stack, you can see in the bottom right hand corner, this little icon, which is kind of like saying that this is a smart object, but being held up in the cloud. Let's just double click on it to open it all up. And sure enough, there it is. It opens up this document with this transparent pixels. But over in the layer stack, we can see all the individual lookup table adjustments, the hue and saturation, the gradient map, Everything that gave our Harley Davidson picture its original coloring, but we can't see it. Let's just see if it actually is adding coloring. Let's just add a layer below, and I'm gonna fill that just with gray, just to see if there's any color there at the moment. Yeah, sure enough, there's a gray layer. If I turn the Harley group on and off, you can see that sure enough, it is actually applying color to it. So why then isn't it giving it to our image? Well, here's why. There's just one little key that we need to press or hold down rather when we bring it out of our Creative Cloud library. And all that is is when we find where that group is within our library, we hold down the Option key on Mac, Alt key on Windows, then click and drag and drop it on top of our image. And you can see, there you go. It's now adding the color grading to it. So now that the color grading has been applied, we can now edit this if we want to by opening up that group and making alterations to any of the layers within it. We can delete them, we can change the settings, whatever. It is now completely editable. So that is how we can export correctly our lookup tables to use them as a one-click fix, but also how we can make them editable. So there you go, nice and quick. I really hope that's been useful. Not the original idea for this week's video, but hey, it is what it is. The new drone has now been ordered, so I'll keep you posted. But if it has been useful, if you've liked this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button. That's just a great free way that you can support this channel. But that's it for this week. That's me. I'm all done. I'll see you in the next one.